there are times that I get truly aggravated with myself or my equipment or the ground or a target and this is one of those times I hit a target started it was in the bedrock broke it up a little bit ran the magnet across it still there took the detector got back into it started breaking the bedrock because it was there and the target went away checked my magnets checked everything couldn't find it even had Bob come over and take a look at it he couldn't find it either we looked all through the area I'm not giving up I've walked away from it for a little bit went took a break now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna hunt 10 feet around this thing I've got to find that target all right so this is the target I was chasing earlier that seemingly disappeared and and when I I just got frustrated and I walked away and I've come back to it and what I have found is that there is a hole in the bedrock and I guess when I moved it out of wherever it was it just fell in that hole like that my knife is still going down and down and down so um, this is just going to be chasing the target and trying to break the bedrock up because I am not going to walk away from it it's barely a target now it's just it's falling so much deeper it's just falling deeper and deeper into this rock oh man this is just ridiculous let's see in that hole see it just every time i push the knife blade into it it just goes down further and further yeah. and the small piece will he will follow that oh yeah it? gold loves gravity <laughs> Okay, I gotta really look at this well. Let me make sure that I haven't pulled it out of the hole by now. It's still in there. Oh. Yeah, you told me to take the metal ring off. <laughs> if I'm chasing a bullet, I am going to be pissed. Dude, I gotta get this thing broke out. Bob gave me this plastic knife. I like it. How come I just can't have an easy day of prospecting with you, man? <laughs> well, we had one that wasn't bad. <laughs> Oh, that's true. That's true. That wasn't real. Okay, you found your first nugget. Too. Yep. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, this looks like it'll work as a plug. There you go. <laughs> I don't think any detector is going to read off it because of how deep it's moved. Brought the knees on? Mm -hmm. I've got a six-foot winch? gad bar. Well, yeah, I've got a winch. <laughs> I've got a winch, but I've also got a six-foot gad bar in there. I'll pound that in there. <laughs> All right. All right. Absolute frustration. Absolute <laughs> frustration. He's laughing. I'm frustrated. Hit a target. Fell in a hole. Fell in a hole in the bedrock. And... I wanted to ride my old Isuzu that I sold to Bob. So Bob's got the Isuzu. Yeah, he's the one over there giggling because I can't get the target out. Got to go get my Nissan and get the six foot pry bar out of it, gad bar, come back out and break the bedrock completely out. Now, when I started this, I found the target that was right up here. And as soon as I started moving material, it dropped and there was a hole in the bedrock and we have broken out all this bedrock found a hole chased it down and have just been going nuts trying to get it down to this point we've broke out all this rock and the target is now gone we pulled all the material out and put it into one spot of... this has been a long haul
whatever it is, it's small. That's funny. So we start again. Good thing you didn't fall into another crack in bedrock. Yeah. Look like a piece of lead. Well, all of that for a bucket. Are you serious? I am. <laughs> and the target is now gone. And it's really sad because, I mean, I don't care if this is another piece of lead. Well, yeah. Well, you, you, you kind of do, but you yeah, know, it's a, you, 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 you won't be too sad if it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's the expectation at this point. Well, there's only one way to eat an elephant. <laughs> a little piece at a time. Yep. Your turn. <laughs> okay, Kevin's out. Bob's in. We're almost there. There's there's not much we can, more we can do. So after getting down so far, pulling out a bucket, which is a lead nugget, stuck the coil back in there and there was another signal. That's the only reason we're still digging, because there was another signal. You never stop until all the signals are gone. All right, Bob broke out a chunk. Looks like the target may have moved. Swing the coil across that again to make sure we're not... Uh, All right, let me in there. I'm, I'm done. I'm, 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 you know what? This son bitch is coming out. No, this is far from the most frustrating. The most frustrating piece, I, the most frustrating dig I ever had was I chased a, um, a grammar for about four hours. Oh, there's that hole. Yeah, it looks like you're getting into it. Alright, let me add on the gold pan because everything at this point.
Son of a... There it is. Stuck to the clay. Oh, look. I got the nugget shakes, man. <laughs> oh. Worked for that one. Oh, that's a good size. That's, what, two grams? No. Not that big? That's barely a gram. Oh, I like Son it. of a gun. That was a chase. That's a pretty one, too. Now, what are we going to do? Check the hole. <laughs> Never leave a target. Never <laughs> leave a target. <laughs> That's almost anticlimactic. <laughs> hey, I'm just happy it's yellow after you know that oh. first piece of lead you pulled out. Oh. But it's those targets like that to make everything absolutely worthwhile. Yep. I love that, you know, because that little piece of lead, mm -hmm. a lot of people would have given up after pulling out yep. that lead. It's that frustration factor of you know, that was a work, work that hard for a piece of lead and yeah. ten minutes more for the gold. Huh? Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, don't ever give up on the target. I mean we, we were gonna come back in a week, but yeah. like guys were here, they had tools. Um I'm done. <laughs>